Today, I just got a package in the mail from a main man, PFR Vintage Jace in Las Vegas. Big shout out to Jace for always being my proxy, letting me ship shit to his house. Mad love, appreciate you. Go follow him, PFR Vintage. Okay, big old box of stuff because I get everything in the States sent to him and then he sends it to me. So this is a lot of stuff in this box. This is a big box, okay? We're doing an unboxing of this big... Let's just say it. I don't even know what's in here. It's been a long time. and shipping stuff to him for a minute. <laughs> this is so random. I got an X-Men uh, figure. Special Collector's Edition. Storm 12-inch Collector Hero. Okay? See, I don't even know this is going to be in here. Because this came in a raffle from PFR that I won. Again, I won another raffle. I've been kind of getting lucky on these raffles. And uh, here it is. X-Men, Storm. What uh, what year is this thing? 1996 in the box. There it is. Okay. Don't really know what I'm going to do with that. No idea. Not really a Marvel dude, but I want a raffle. So there you go. Supporting the homies. Okay. Mad NASCAR. I got Mad NASCAR in here because I order a shit ton of NASCAR for Frankie. Uh, I'm not really going to show you all the NASCAR, whatever. This one's kind of dope. Um, there's a lot of NASCAR. More NASCAR. Okay, put that there. Okay. This is sicker. This is a Ray Troll, but a weird Ray Troll. It's got the Evolve front hit. It's on Fruit of the Loom large. This tag is like hanging on by a thread. You see that? But look at this back hit. Crazy all over animal back print. It says from the slime to the ridiculous. So it's like the evolution of animals from, okay, this is so dope. Basically, up in this corner, it's got like amoebas and one-celled creatures. It's got the evolution of animals all the way down. And then, it's got a family in a car. Ray Troll, always on point. Dope one. Okay. So I guess this is also what I want in that raffle from PFR. The Punisher on the anvil. Single, uh, 1999 or 96. I don't know, I can't even read it. Pretty dope. It's not the biggest size, it's a medium. This one's for sale. If anybody wants it, hit me up. Let's do a deal. Let's make a deal. Okay. Oh, I've done this one too. I'll, I honestly. If I uh, don't give you a shout out, hit me up because these packages all come to PFR. I don't even know who sent me half of these things. Okay, Theory of Evolution. This is a Whistler shirt. I collect snowboard stuff. Uh, this is a Whistler shirt. It's got a skier evolving into an ape snowboarding. Sick shirt. It's the truth. Snowboarders are a bunch of fucking hoodlums. There you go. On this big bad Chad tag. Never seen that. It's Big Bad Chad. Dope one. Whistler, BC. I live just down the road in Squamish, which is basically half hour from Whistler. Okay, this is a sicker. Sicker hammer. Surfline Hawaii. It's the all over print surf jacket. Things from the island. Oh, this isn't even that old. This is like a reproduction. Oh, what? I don't know now. I thought this was like, or I thought this was like 60s, but this is like, this is like an 80s maybe reproduction, maybe even 90s. Ah, uh, now I'm not stoked on this. See, the guy who sold me this didn't even show me the tag or anything. That's what happens when you buy online. Like this is basically the way they would have made these in the 60s. Early, early surf stuff. And this is a reproduction. The tag is even done the same way, sort of. I don't think I saw the tag and when I saw this on Instagram. Anyway, 
whatever. Didn't cost a lot, but uh, not stoked on that. You get the repro when you think it's original. Whack. Okay, moving on. Ooh, okay. You guys know I'm into my Patagonia. This is a Patagonia tag, Hawaiian shirt, made in USA. Super cool print. It's kind of like, I want to say Australian Aboriginal print, but you know, I'm probably gonna get called out for getting that wrong. They do like the dot drawings, like the really cool dot drawings. Anyway, super cool colors, cool print. Uh, I'm into this one. I'm into the Patagonia Pataloha shirts. This one's not a Pataloha, but it's a Patagonia tag. Um, but either way, I'm into the uh, Patagonia Hawaiian shirts. Hit me if you got them. Okay, saving those. Okay. I got some Jimmy Z. Jimmy Z shoes. Check out those soles. Jimmy Z hit on the back. It's like a Vans kind of style. Jimmy Z on the tongue. Size 11. I can wear these. I don't know if I will. Super cool. Jimmy Z old surf kicks kind of van style pretty sure I got these from known bad boy shout out known bad boy always posting some dope stuff kills it on the deep hop kicks don't usually buy sneakers but there it is um, okay NASCAR okay Big swoosh, Nike puffer pullover. Again, it's kind of whatever. That's for Frankie. More NASCAR. NASCAR, 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 NASCAR. I buy NASCAR. You can see I buy NASCAR. Hit me up if you got any. I'll buy you out buying bulk. I want uh, big bulk deals on NASCAR. More NASCAR. More NASCAR. Oh, sicker. More NASCAR. Okay. This one came from Full Court Classics. My G. Full Court Classics. Out of Florida, kills it. Mad curated vintage store, changing the stock weekly. I love what they do. Check out this graphic. I buy all these 90s kind of urban graffiti style graphics. Look, it's got the Nikes on. And now on the back in the sick like stencil font, Sensamelia make me feel ya. Stoked on this. I don't even know what that says. Something head. Spearhead. I think that says Spearhead. So that's got to be the brand, Spearhead. It's on the uh, on the XL Fruit of the Loom. This is a sicker. I'm going to do a video of my like cartoon collection, my urban uh, graffiti collection. I got some good ones. Okay. This is another bundle I got from, I don't even know. More for Frankie, Nike crop. Uh, center swoosh, long sleeve, like early 2000s tag. Okay, okay, what else we got here? Windbreaker, big swoosh. Windbreaker. I also buy Nike windbreakers all day. Okay, this one's pretty dope. This is the ACG fleece. It says Nike Fit on it. Okay, those are all for Frankie. Let's see what else I got. More NASCAR. Saving the best for last, okay? Saving the best for last, so stay watching this video. NASCAR, John Deere, John Deere Motorsports. 
this one, Bill Elliott, big print, dope. Couple more now, Scott. Okay, let's get into my three favorites from this haul. Oh, damn. I didn't even realize this. Okay. Okay, the next three. Super dope. Okay. This is a Nike skate tee. Okay. It's got the... Uh, Nike hit on the sleeve. It says Edge Skateboard Edge Specialist. Nike. I have one other, well, until now. Now I have four of these things. I used I had one Nike skate tee. Um, I think it's the earlier blue tag, to be honest. Not this. This is a silver tag. Or gray tag, whatever you want to call it. And... I had a bet with Nils, and, and the bet was Nils from uh, Varsity Los Angeles, and the bet was the first person who, because he has a Nike skate tee too, and the bet was the first person to get a second Nike skate tee, the other person had to give that person their Nike skate tee. So I hit him up, and I'm like, yo, I won the bet. I finally got a second Nike skate tee. And then he's like, dude, it's the same one that I have. Anyway, Nils, shout out Nils, go follow those guys. Good people out of LA. This is a small, obviously probably kids bought these mostly anyway. Super dope. I'll show the other one I have at some point. It's probably on my Instagram. This one is from Vintage Heatwave. Shout out Vintage Heatwave, thank you for that. And then I got two more from Vu Vintage. Vu Vintage, Boys Large, and another probably Boys Large. Why do they always gotta be Boys Large? Anyway, he hooks it up, over packaging with the double bag scenario, but whatever, you do you, man. Okay. This one's tiny, super little teeny weeny shirt. This is like gonna fit my son, he'll probably rock it, but look at that graphic, super dope, it's got the small Nike hit, gray tag. Okay, he hooked up the stickers. Oh, these are different stickers. That's got, that sticker has the Nike on it. This one's just plain. This is the different tag. Nike Skate Crew. A crest. Um, made in Canada. The original Nike that tag Beaverton Oregon so now I have four Nike skate shirts uh, if anybody has Nike skate tees hit me up I'll buy them uh, especially in larger sizes got to keep the collection going it's pretty rare and I'm into it this ain't no SB shit this is way early 80s early 90s stuff okay hit me up okay the piece de resistance is this. Rob Roscoff, Jim Phillips, skate tee from the 80s. I don't know what year, but I believe this was, I started skating in 88. I think this is like 86-ish because it's before me. It's got the Rob Roscoff hit, Rob Roscoff design, Santa Cruz skateboards. Fucking classic, classic, iconic graphic. Look at that. It's sicker. This is a major hammer. And, little fact, this is the most money I ever paid for a t-shirt. Um, I'm not immune to the hype. I'm paying up for t-shirts. Although, I believe stuff like this, this is an amazing piece of skate history. This is early skate stuff, 80s stuff. Um, Jim Phillips is an iconic, iconic artist, did so much work for Santa Cruz, he did work for bands, there's like a whole book of his like art through the 80s and 90s, did surf design stuff, um, The Screaming Hand is one of his most famous graphics, I don't believe this is part of the Screaming Hand series, 
but this is a different series. But the Screaming Hand was also Rob Ross Cup, I believe. Or the Screaming Hand might have just been a Santa Cruz team thing. But, uh, yeah. Super hype on this. Look it up. Rob Roscoff, Jim Phillips. Um, this tag is like faded out, super faded out. It might have been like an early anvil or something. Hard to say. Um, this came from, ah, oh man, I don't remember the name. It's up in California. One of those dudes out of California who's hitting the abandoned houses. They're going up in the bandos, as they call it. Hitting those, like, dirted out meth trailer parks and um, getting real grimy with it. But basically getting all their shit for free. So, yeah, this came from him. I forget his name. I'll try to tag it here. But uh, thanks again. Super stoked on this. I had to get in a fucking bidding war with somebody. Probably someone from Japan wanted this. And I got it. But I paid up. Most ever paid for a t-shirt. Okay, that's it. That's my haul video. Shout out PFR again for letting me ship shit there. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you want to hit up and buy some shirts, hit me up and buy some shirts. Go to fsandfrankvintage.com down below. Some of the stuff might be on there. Hit me up direct on Instagram, Drew Heifetz. That's it. I'm out. Go listen to the podcast.